Hello, and welcome to another video in the Apex SQL Disaster Recovery video series. In this video, we're going to show you how to recover data lost due to truncate operation using Apex SQL Recover, a SQL Server recovery tool which utilizes information stored in the database MDF and LDF files, as well as the information from database backup files, to recover the data lost due to different SQL Server operations, including delete, drop, and truncate. In order to simulate a rogue truncate table operation from which we'd like to recover, we've prepared a database with a simple table and inserted some generic data. Our database is in the full recovery model, which ensures that the transaction log contains full information on all transactions which occur on the database, which is used as a source for the recovery. Now, let's quickly truncate our table and confirm that the data has been truncated. In order to maximize the chances for recovery of truncated data, the time period between the incident and the recovery attempt needs to be minimized. A truncate table operation deallocates the data pages with the existing data and marks them as available for use or overwrite. The actual row data remains intact for the time being. The Apex SQL Recover scrapes these deallocated pages for lost data and recovers the truncated data from there. However, Deallocated pages can be reused and overwritten by SQL Server at any time. And as the time passes, the chances that SQL Server will overwrite these data pages with new data increases, decreasing the chances for a successful recovery. Since performing a full database backup after the incident doesn't guarantee a successful data recovery, it is highly recommended to create a copy of the database's MDF and LDF files immediately after the truncate. These copies can then be attached to the same or different SQL Server instance as another database, which ensures that the information used as the recovery source is not overwritten in the created database copy. This means that we can use Apex SQL Recover on the copy of our database instead of on the production database directly. To initiate the recovery process, first, we need to start Apex SQL Recover and choose the proper recovery option from the main ribbon. In our case, we need to select the Recover from Truncate Table operation. Next, we need to select our SQL Server instance to choose the authentication method and provide valid credentials. And finally, to select the database where our table was truncated. In the next step of the wizard, Apex SQL Recover will show a list of all database tables. Here, we need to choose the table that needs to be recovered. So simply ensure that only our table of interest is checked which is Table 1 in our case. In the Recovery Action step of the wizard, the user can make the choice between recovering the drop table directly to the new database or creating a recovery script, which can later be executed against the original database to complete the recovery. Let's proceed with the option to create a recovery script. After several moments, Apex SQL Recover will complete processing and provide information on recovered data rows as well as allow us to inspect the created script by clicking on the View Script link. In our case, we are opening our recovery script in the built-in internal editor. The only remaining task is to connect the script to our production database and to execute it to recover the truncated data. To do this, first click on the Connect button in the main ribbon and provide full connection details, including SQL Server instance, authentication information, and choose the production database. Click Connect to establish the connection. Finally, click on the Execute button in the main ribbon. And after a short period processing, Apex SQL Recover will repopulate the truncated data as if it had never been lost. If we check our database with SQL Server Management Studio, we can confirm that the data is safely back in our table. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.